I am so late to this. But anyway, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Dead by Daylight. Now, in today's video, we are going to be checking out the two brand new collections in the game, which are the Void Collection and the Tricks and Treats Collection as well. So, let's go ahead and get started. All right, like I said before, guys, I'm sorry about the lack of uploads. There's been a lot of stuff IRL that's been going on, so that's why I haven't been really uploading lately. But let's go ahead and check out these brand new collections right here on the right side that are part of this event and just recently dropped so let's go ahead and check out the first one which is going to be the cosplay stream for feng min so this one is going to be a set as you can tell from the logo right here let's go ahead and check out the description it says she organized a halloween themed streaming event this is a 1080 orc cells part of the tricks and street collection and it is a set so you can't mix and match that's the thing about this outfit. Honestly, this is one I'm probably gonna get just because it's Fangman, and this is just such an insane outfit. This stands out so much. Looks like she has a razor headset on, which is really cool. The hair is just outstanding, and I love the one bat Halloween legging right here. This outfit is just 10 out of 10 for me, honestly. Now, one thing I gotta say about all these collections is that all of these are limited time sets, limited time outfits. As you can see right here, it does have a counter. It says limited time set 16D, as in 16 days. All right, 16 days to get these outfits or else they're gonna be gone. Maybe they are gonna make certain outfits just seasonal, you know, just for Halloween time, and then they're gonna go away until next year. Who knows? But if you want these outfits, you better cop them right now, that's for sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out the second outfit that's part of this collection that's also a set and looks like it is going to be for Claudette. So let's go ahead and check it out. And, ooh, okay, all right. I don't know if it's a cop for me. Maybe it'll grow on me, but um, looks like she's a fairy, pixie, some kind of, some kind of, you know, somewhere around there. But anyway, let's go ahead and check it out. It says Faye Claudette, part of the Tricks and Treats collection. It is 1,080 orc so the description does say, as, as a child, she believed that her backyard was home to pixies. Ah, oh, okay, so it is a pixie. I was right. Now, I really like this outfit. I don't know if it's going to be a cop right away. I mean, apparently I only have 16 days now to think about it, right? But let me know, let me know what you guys think about this outfit. Let me know if you already uh, purchased it. Let me know if you like it. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the other one. The third outfit that's part of the Tricks and Treats collection. This is going to be for Jake. It is Wolfie Jake. Now, this is not a set, so you can mix and match. It doesn't have that little logo right there. So... <laughs> <laughs> looks like jake just went half ass when it comes to this outfit but it's pretty funny i kind of like it um so you can't mix and match it's not a set it's called woofy jake it is a thousand eighty orc cells the description does say he bought his costume at the last minute for a haunted house party so i was right you know kind of like a half ass costume but on the right side right here since this is not a set you can check out piece by piece what this uh what this outfit's all about so when it comes to the head, it is bloody canine. It is 400 orc cells. Uh, the description does say he wore the mask on his head as he couldn't see through it. And when it comes to the torso, it is called wolf skin. 400 orc cells as well. The description does say his hairy costume kept him warm outside, but made him too hot once in the party. And when it comes to the legs, it is called fur line boots. It is 400 orc cells. And the description does say he chose old pants from his wardrobe for the night. I'm not gonna lie, I'll probably get this outfit just for the, you know, just for the giggles. But for 1,080 or sales, it's definitely not gonna be my first pick. But it's pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next outfit, which is gonna be part of the Void Collection outfit. This one's gonna be for Yoon Jin. So let's go ahead and check it out. This is also limited to 16 days. And... I say th I said this while I checked out the trailer. This looks like I hate comparing games to, but this looks like um, like an outfit that would or a character even that would come out from League of Legends. You know what I mean? That's part of the uh, the ruination. That's just me. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But let's go ahead and check out the outfit. It is called Catching Figure. Part of the Void Collection, it is 1,080 Oryx Cells. The description does say Yoon Jin was cautious, avoiding potential threats while searching for the ghostly shadows. And it's not a set, so you can definitely mix and match. On the right side, the head, the it says Blue Orbs. It is 400 Oryx Cells. The description does say this unsettling energy she carried began to affect her thoughts. And when it comes to the torso, it is called Shadow Tracer. It is 400 Oryx Cells. The description does say she finds finally reached the eerie figure standing before her determined to capture it 
and when it comes to the legs it is called transferred. It is 400 org cells. The description does say as she closed the gap, she accumulated energy within her, uh, within her went to the hunt, releasing it from the void. Now I will say this about this outfit, this collection, it's sick. Okay, it looks really, really cool, especially the glowing eyes, the glowing outfit. It's the same outfit. It's the standard outfit, but just altered. You know, it's like all voided up. I guess you could say it is really nice. Well, let's go ahead and move on to the second outfit that's part of the Void Collection. This one is going to be for Hattie. So once again, same outfit, just all voided up. Just the, the Void version of that outfit, right? It is called Silent Breach. It is 1,080 org cells. The description does say, Hattie felt a jolt, a disturbing shriek like nails on a chalkboard that only she could hear. And it's not a set, so you can definitely mix and match. When it comes to the right side right here, the head is called Blank Staring. Uh, the description does say a cat, I'm not even trying to pronounce that, of whispers filled her ears as she stood mesmerized by the glacial blue light. And when it comes to the torso, it is called Sunless Creation. The description does say a sense of emptiness slowly tore through her, leaving a gaping void in her heart. And when it comes to the legs, it is called Taken Away. It is 400 org cells. Despite her attempts to resist, she was pulled into the clutches of horror. Like I said before, these outfits really do look sick. Uh, you're definitely going to be standing out in game, that's for sure. Um, but it's not going to be my first pick. I'm probably going to be buying that thing mint outfit first, to be honest. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the final outfit that's part of the Void Collection. And this one is going to be for David King. Let's check it out. And there we go. All right. You know what? This is probably my favorite one out of all three, to be honest. This is probably my favorite one. So I might get this one. So for David, it's called Forgotten Hollow. It is a 1080 orc cells. The description does say David found himself in an unsettling place that seemed strangely familiar. And it's not a set once again, so you can mix and match. On the right side does say, uh, when it comes to the head, it is called Corrosive Land. It is 400 orc cells. The description does say a ghostly figure watched him as he observed the scattered decaying bodies. And when it comes to the torso, it is called Lost Hope. It is 400 or so, so the description does say a deep despair overwhelmed him as his heart grasped with the desolate atmosphere. And when it comes to the legs, it is called Negative Aura. It is 400 or so, so the description does say David suddenly ached as he saw the eerie shadow, a forgotten memory asking to be released. But that's going to do it for the Void Collection. Now let's going to move on to the final outfit that's part of the Tricks and Treats Collection. I'm wondering why it's down here and not up here with the other outfits. Maybe because it's not a set or maybe it's because you can actually buy this with shards. That might be it. But anyway, so let's go ahead and click on here. This one is going to be for Jane. So let's click on this and there we go. There we go. Looking really nice, Jane. Looking really nice. Let's look at the description. Uh, well, this outfit is called Hollywood Glamour. It is 1,080 org cells or 21,600 shards if you have that amount in your uh, in your account, which I actually do. Um, the description does say for a, I'm not going to pronounce that, among Tinseltown's movers and shakers. She decided to pay tribute to her mother and other stars of yesteryear. All right. And let's check out the piece by piece of this outfit. The head is called Classic Updo. Updo? Updo? It is 400 uh, org cells or 7,200 shards. The description does say she turned many heads when she walked in looking straight out of a golden age musical. And when it comes to the torso, it's called Seafoam Gown. It is 400 org cells, once again, 7,200 shards. The description does say sparkling and delicate. She looked like true Hollywood royalty in this dress. And when it comes to the legs, it is called Golden Heels. It is 7,200 uh, 7, shards and 400 orc cells. The description does say a glamorous and understated accent piece to wrap off the best dressed person at the party. But there you guys have it, all of the Tricks and Treats collection and the Void collection. Let me know if you guys are gonna purchase any of these outfits down in the comments. Let me know which one's your favorite one. I probably still have to go with the Feng Min one. That's definitely gonna be the one. I'm probably gonna purchase it right now just so I can rock it in game and take part of the Halloween event. But anyway, that's gonna do for me guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, come subscribe. Definitely does help a lot. Follow me on Twitch if you wanna see any DVD action live. And I'll see you guys next video maker, right? Later.